लास्ट फ्यू डेज इन द मंथ ऑफ मे पिक ऑफ समर सी शोर्स आर वन ऑफ द ऑप्शन टू गेट रिलीव फ्रॉम हिट द सनसेट्स आर ब्राइटर एंड डेज आर लॉन्ग इवनिंग स्काय स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग अप ऑफ क्लाउड्स थ्रू आउट द नाइट ड्राइड एंड पार्च लैंडस्केप anxiously waiting for nimbus clouds the process of gathering of clouds looks interesting in reverse the process continues the sky gets nimbus clouds all along and downpouring starts the rains are welcomed by sahyadri ranges sahyadri ranges go green almost instantly The shades of greens all along the Sahyadri influenced areas are seen everywhere. This is the magic of rains in Sahyadri ranges, seen year on year basis which looks endlessly. But suddenly this year clouds started moving. Tree canopies keep on searching for clouds under bright sun. and unexpected but extended dry spell during the rains river water flow shrinks allowing easy access sky goes bright blue with wandering bird the sahyadri plateau generally with flowing water on the rocks during rains houses colonies of ereo colons and blue colored utricularia species among all other species water suddenly disappeared with dry rock patches and greens reduced to some and a few patches area starts looking differently but still something is left to learn such long duration of dry spells impacts vegetation and dependent life but the gaps cracks and crevices in lateritic rock continue to support the life the small collection of soil helps vegetation to survive but holding scanty water this different landscape is equally interesting and drawing attention of all of us also such crevices and porous nature of lateritic rocks are source of water percolation below in the ground helping in occurrence of perennial water streams which are endemic to sahyadris due to geological features here occasional but passing showers provide leads to life during periods like this one the eye catching yellow tiny flowers look attractive and need a close watch the thorns along the woody stems provide protection to plant and flowers from predators about 8 to 10 months from now these yellow flowers will deliver important seeds with medicinal properties the ringing sound of seeds while within the pods is pleasing and very interesting neglected wall provides support to shindori climber this climber has practically covered the structure below the birds and flowers both are equally attractive in the morning suns and they are of edible nature the road continues to pass through sahyadri plateau on sides of the road within the presence of undergrowth we see spread of a climber holding tiny white flower the flower of kadu padwal another important climber with medicinal properties the flowers are brightened up and of very attractive shape and of design like nature's embroidery work or crochet work the tiny insect enjoys the nectar and gifts pollination to yield the medicinally important fruits the road continues with a water body on side by the lush green grass looks eye catching 
and waves on wind. Such open soil patches are visible within green grass patches. On walking through same indicates softer soil and semi aquatic plants on soil bed below. Junction of water and soil holds some elegant flowers. The thick grass hides these beautiful flowers below. The less standing water level has allowed us to go close to the flower this year. A small floating leaf with tender stem and a white flower with yellow center stands all along below grasses. Flowers keep on waving with light breeze. It needs very close look to experience the beauty of the flower. Next corner is cup and saucer shrub in full bloom. Like tea is served where beetle is enjoying the tea. But tea gets over soon, cup is empty. Actually seeds are matured and spreading of same making the cup empty. This is the beauty of nature. A small patch of sonki flower is around by. But when you observe flowers on plateau, don't neglect the undergrowth. You will find Drosera indica like plants in full bloom. It's an insectivorous plant. The pearl like spears on branches are actually sticky in nature. Any insect attracted towards the plant after looking at the color of the flower will get stuck on these birds. The suckers on the branches will do the rest. The flower is like prey for the insect. The road continues to unwind further, taking us to another seasonal water body holding another aquatic plant of Capri Kamal. Walking through receding water levels brings us close to Capri Kamal. Last year the blooming was on higher side and pond was full of flowers. On the background of sky, the flowers create out of the world look to all viewers. The stamens tremble with the slightest of wind. Simply great. Trembling stamens have some marvelous look. Have some pattern and give us the heavenly feel on the earth. Drying water bodies and lesser availability of water looks like bringing an early end to flowering of deep caddy coconensis now flowering in patches imagining the upcoming threat due to lack of water appears that plant has reached to stage of fruiting fast looking at last year when water was abundant every erect branch of deep caddy has a multiple flowers but now every branch carried less number of flowers plant has entered the last leg of life cycle this year most of them have spread the seeds which will wait anxiously to germinate on onset of monsoon next year the road becomes narrow but good quality ride and climbs down full grown trees creating a canopy above with good healthy undergrowth below having variety of vegetation growing together in harmony a small red soil footpath cuts through the undergrowth and goes close to vegetation unbelievable rare and endangered climber is waiting on the way Sighting of Siropejo oculata is the great find and top of the event during flower watching of the monsoon. The flower is beautifully designed. The nectar is at bottom of flower. Insects falls in flower tube to reach to bottom. The process of pollination happens in the bulb below while exchanging the nectar. Now question is will the insect will die inside or can escape but nature is great hold 
the flower on pollination tilts down creating escape route for the insect this is the well thought relationship between the flower and the insect another exciting plant of balsam waits for us we know this type of balsam but this is different and unique see the length of spur where the nectar is present at bottom we need a pollinator to pollinate this and take away the nectar on the sides of the road we saw a plant called sarwad or pandri whose leaves are white in color so attracts all of us from long distances this may be a wild variety of musanda which grows in our gardens road continues to unwind further and reaches to seashore the fragrant screw pine is waiting on threshold of soil and sand holding strong with main roots and getting life support of nutrients using secondary roots undercuts show some geological wonder the water falling on top of plateau percolates in the red soil till the time it hits hard surface below makes percolation very difficult so percolating water starts dropping down and creates attractive waves the dripping water creates sweet water pool while flowing on the way to sea water every time every season sahyadri has a lot to offer for learnings and gets us close to nature undoubtedly